Welcome to the Jelvix channel. Have you ever caught yourself mapping connections between things that might seem quite unrelatable at first sight? Now, if the question got you confused, here's an example of how one of our recent talks in the Jelvix office was exactly like that. As our designer, Diana, mentioned her weekend plans of going to the cinema for either Barbie or Oppenheimer, it led to a bizarre question. In the world of programming solutions, which one has more of a Barbie vibe and which Oppenheimers? Obviously, we couldn't put it to rest. So here it is, the IT version of the tournament between Barbie versus Oppenheimer. We'll analyze the two frameworks side by side based on technical features, developers' convenience, popularity, and last but not least, versatility or use cases. But who are we to judge, you may ask? We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, use the super thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. First of all, it's important to highlight both Gatsby and Next.js are valuable tools in web development. However, they serve different purposes and cater to different project requirements. Shortly put, Gatsby focuses on static site generation and simplicity, while Next.js provides more versatility and customization options. Gatsby can be likened to Barbie for its accessibility, user friendliness, and a focus on simplification. Next.js and Oppenheimer share the common quality of valuing the robustness of technology, complexity, and versatility in tackling multifaceted challenges. To dig deeper into technical capabilities, let's follow the steps of the Jelvix team who opened the Gatsby official website and look through a comprehensive comparison table. Now judging from it, Gatsby is marked one step ahead in terms of progressive image loading, responsive image loading, and a range of accessible defaults. But what about the ease of development? Well, Gatsby is often praised for its usability due to its straightforward setup, well-documented plugins, and opinionated structure that simplifies common web development tasks. It's also ranked higher in a range of aspects when it comes to user documentation and boasts of a richer themes ecosystem and out-of-the-box integrations with 50-plus systems, such as Versal, WordPress, Shopify, Google Analytics, Facebook, PayPal, and many others. Next.js, on the other hand, offers greater flexibility, but may require more expertise and configuration. Due to its wide range of features and customization capabilities, Next.js might have a comparatively steeper learning curve for beginners. However, it serves well for seasoned experts once they get familiar with its principles. But do these usability properties affect the framework's popularity? Now, before we continue, make sure you're subscribed. So, based on the statistics by Netlify, Next.js outruns Gatsby by a slight 2% in cases of being used for paid sites and by 6% across free websites. According to another trusted website, Built With, around 170,000 websites are using Gatsby, while a whopping 1 million websites use Next.js. In the meantime, Google Trends displays a tendency of growing interest in Next.js over the last couple of years. Gatsby.js, in turn, seems to have a comparative decline in interest compared to its high search demand in 2020. Finally, let's discuss the best use cases of these frameworks. Jelvix developers all agree Gatsby is best used in cases of static websites, which can largely benefit from Gatsby's pre-rendering capabilities, content-heavy sites where fast loading and SEO are crucial, such as blogs, news sites, or documentation sites, and serverless architecture for those who need scalable, cost-efficient solutions. If you value simplicity, ease of use, and a streamlined development process, Gatsby is your top choice. It's like having your own personal Barbie dream house for web development, with everything you need to get started, from a pre-configured setup to a wide range of plugins. Unlike Gatsby, 
Next.js is better suited for building dynamic web apps and interactive websites that require server-side rendering or incremental static generation, e-commerce websites, social media platforms, and others. It's also well-suited for leveraging large-scale, enterprise-level applications, where performance, security, and scalability are critical, and well-serving those applications that heavily rely on a back-end API integration. If your project demands a high level of customization, Next.js provides more control over routing, data fetching, and rendering. Hence, using Next.js is like having your own personal Oppenheimer to help you create your next revolutionary product. And if you'd like to learn more insights, check out another video about Next.js versus Vue.js comparison. Also, you can support us by liking this video. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.